Um, this is just to remind us of what we want to do. Um, this is an obligation that we owe our Father who has departed. And um, we want us to understand exactly what we want to do, especially for those who may not be familiar with what we want to do now. So um, the Imam is going to lead us in the funeral prayer on, the, on our departed father. And the first thing that is going to happen is um, he's going to do the takbir. So he's going to do first Allah Akbar. After doing this Salat al we're going to do another Allah Akbar, making the third Allah Akbar. Then the Imam is going to make dua for our father. And we also make dua for our father. As it, uh, it has been said before, when you have a Muslim who 40 people join the funeral prayer without associating any partner with Allah subhanahu, then whatever the request of Allah for him will be accepted. So what our father needs now is for Allah's forgiveness for his shortcomings, that Allah should admit him into his mercy, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should make his sojourn in the grave the one that is easy for him, and may Allah accept his return. So after this, they're going to say Allah Akbar. So in total, we're going to be making like four or five Allah Akbar, depending on whatever the Imam decides to do. So this is the process. Then after which the Imam is going to say the Taslim, say the Salaam Alaikum, and we will terminate the prayer. So this is the process of the prayer. So please, uh, let's, uh, with a very sincere heart, you know, make the, the, the prayer for our departed fathers. So, if I could find a Taslim, that's for you, I want to salam. So we can wear our shoes first. It's not compulsory that we need to take our shoes off before. If you like, you can wear, if you like, you can leave it on. May Allah accept it for us. Allahu Akbar. الله أكبر الله أكبر
الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله The chief imam of Ilupeju, please come. You can remain standing there for prayer. Chief imam of Ilupeju. Allahu Akbar. الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله شيخ إمام مف مغادي سنتر موس لغوس إيلاند الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Thank you very much We organize a small prayer for Baba Sona So, so we everybody should take seat or we remain there Thank you very much On hard work and on loving uh, the masses. So we pray for ourselves for him. We pray Almighty Allah for his sin. And for all the family that he left behind, of which I'm one, the Almighty Allah will continue to all of us. Thank you. <laughs>
Well, as you rightly said, it's a general loss to everybody, personally to the children. He's gone. We still don't believe he's gone. Since he's still right here sleeping, we believe he's still sleeping. And uh, we only hope and pray that the guidance he has given to us will continue to abide in us. And I'm sure we would always remember him for good. And uh, for, for me, my dad, that's what I want to remember him for, for me, my dad. Hello, Mr. Sanusu, Dr. Mikael. I would, I would just say that if I have Hello, Mr. 20 million opportunities Dr. to Mikael come back Sanusi. to this world, it's wonderful, it has taught us to be contented and uh, it, it doesn't have anyway, so I won't say not flamboyantly, but I am sure we are okay. We have a bond, we have a bond together, and we hope that, you know, by the grace of God, we will continue to maintain the bond. We thank God for his political sagacity. We thank God for his mentorship. Because many people, and I count myself lucky, those that have the opportunity to work directly with him, in my official capacity as a police officer, and this one as an adopted son to the family. So, as my mentor while I was alive, though I didn't have the opportunity of serving him when he was the governor of Lagos State, but since God has given the privilege now of serving Lagos State in this capacity of commissioner of police, I've had uncounted encounter with him. So many <clears throat> series of advice, so many series of fatherly counseling has given to me. And that's part of what I'm going to be where what I am today. So I thank God Almighty that I had the opportunity of seeing his demons, I had the opportunity of paying my tribute to him and making sure that 
to give him the right passage to Aljana. Okay, sir. Thinking that um, God um, has actually done in the past, okay. a lot of people have actually shouted phobiums and me. What advice would you offer to the government? Those in government, you are, I mean government, so the advice is that we should always think of life after office. So when we leave office now, what do you want, how do you want people to relate to us after we leave office? How do you want to relate to people? Because in office now, there are so many authorities, there are so many parties, there are so many benefits. This was the man that, despite the opportunity he had to lead the government, his own... Hmm, Self-discipline. Made you not to even live in the personal house. He lived in the personal house, the governor of Lagos State. And all length and breadth of Lagos State, you've seen so many jack on the house, jack on the house for the masses. He lived his life for the masses. So my play, my advice to myself too, because I'm in government, and those in government is that we should treat people that have opportunity to meet the way we want us to be treated once you leave the government service. Now your message to the family, sir. The family. In every family, the fingers are not equal. You don't expect everybody to think the same way. But we should, all members of the family should just follow his legacy and make sure that the unity that he brought the family to be exists and continues. So that that will give him peace of mind, that will give his soul to rest in peace. So whatever they rank they have to come in now, there is always a way of resolving. There are elderly people in the company, in the community, that can do that. So in the family, I pray that we the family should take themselves as one and continue to the unity that the man has left behind. Thank you, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Elijah Azan. Please, sister distance. Elijah Please, Azan. Sister distance. Please. Please. No, I'm a partner. Elijah Azan. Al Maruf Azan. Al Azan. I'm a shadow accountant by profession. Okay, what's your relationship with Elijah? Oh, very good. I've been being the second that time of Elijah Jack Holiday, since 40 years ago, when I was the LSDPC, I was control of finance. I was also the secretary of the project Infrastructure committee in Elijah Jack Holiday House. I was the secretary, and Elijah Jack Holiday was the chairman. We work on the housing scheme, the low-cost housing, and schools, ensuring that um, schools, which was the only one, one shift, I wish your three shifts was reduced to one shift. I've been uh, the secretary of the project for Okay, sir. Actually, uh, you know about your work. 40 years ago. Yes, sir. For 40 years ago, it's 40. not. Um, yes, every day. It's not, it's not a job. Yes. So, sir, what, what exactly is that thing that you know the about, Baba, thing about Baba that, that people like don't know about? Say. Oh, very hard working. Very hard working. Had the interest of the masses in his heart all the time. Was to make sure that the housing scheme we built, which was then sold for about 18,000. 18, we sold it for 6,000 for three bedrooms and 5,000 for three, uh, two bedrooms, the local housing. So where, where are you going to miss him? Uh, huh? where, are, where are you going to miss him? Ah, very, okay. ah well, for his um, and, um, modesty. I was so, he, he also invited me to the Federal Minister of Works. You see, the Federal Minister of Works, I was the personal assistant. Oh, would you like people to remember about Baba and the areas you want to emulate Baba Oh, Baba is very, very hardworking, very, very honest, and um, uh, uh, the lover of the buses, the love buses. And all the problems, he solved nearly all the problems. He wanted to solve problems for humanity. Okay, How old are you now, sir? Myself? Yes, sir. 80. Oh, oh okay. You live now, sir. Uh, Your message to his family, sir, and the entire uh, Oh, the entire well, we miss him entirely, but because um, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not whether people like him will still come, will still exist for his uh, love for the masses. Yes. So for his family, we, we, one day we have to pass away. That is too definite. But to ensure, to ensure that his love continues, uh, this is very important. Alaji Hazan is my name. Uh, Hazan, Hazan, of the former controller of finance for LGPC. Alaji Al-Maruf. Okay, sir. Al -Maruf. Al -Maruf. Al -Maruf. Personal assistant to Alaji Akode, when he was the Minister of Works and Housing. Please.
Uh, thank you very much. You no, know, we are we are lucky in Lagos. We are lucky in Lagos. There is a, a, a you know a, what we call something foundation. Whenever you have a a good a solid and fantastic foundation, you will continue to mount on that. That has been the Lagos achievement as regards politics. That's what I would say. Over the time, the politics in Lagos has been consistent. The politics in Lagos has been mounting based on what the previous government has done. That has kept Lagos going. Today, we are in a greater Lagos. What, look at what the current one is doing. It is based on the foundation that he made. And he too is in the government over the time. So today you can see the achievement. Everything is going on. All we pray for is patience now. Those days, I was saying before, was the days of people doesn't know what is in the government. People believe in Ati Dibo and everybody goes away. Everybody and back to their various business. You get what I'm saying? But today everybody sees what is government. So everybody wants to involve. And though... It is retrospect in the in the theory of democracy, the government of the people, with the, of the people and made by the people and for the people. So is that everybody will be involved, and everybody is involved. We follow the trend of Baba Jack on day. Ah, I will leave that to decide for the principals. <laughs> So uh, he has he has done that over the time. We have that on the estate, he look uh, that on the estate, uh, uh, Abeson estate. That on the estate on I I didn't get delay. That on the estate at uh, Lekki Ojokoro a lot. So he has mortalized himself. All that needed here is to be good. That's all. My name is Honorable Jebi Abdullahi, a special advisor to the Governor of Lagos State on Islamic Matters.
Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaikum. imams imams our ten selected Imam, Bismillah. What is more than one? Bismillah. Allah 
Fadila ti Sheikh Adam Abdullah Lalori, Olorun ba wa salekun ki a ti ge fun won, eh baba wa budiru ti te ni Olorun ba wa lo re mi won. Baba Jacob de yin na, eh ta ba pe lo mo mo kasi ko ipoju. Olorun ko wa la gbogbo dada to se sibe, Olorun ba wa bi fun ni won. Ustaz wa bil Habib Bashar, lati Morkas, ti won soju baba wa budiru Habibullah, wa ba wa se adua si. Allahumma ghfir li akhina wa abina ala haj abdul allati Today, when man shall arrive this world, a day when man shall exit from this world, and the third day when man shall be made to resurrect. A whole lot of us believes that uh, death is the end of everything, is the end of man's sojourn on the surface of the earth, but that is not. Rather, death is a means to another end. Now, what we all have to take home from here, this moment, not for us to attend the burial of our father, but what are we taking home from his character when he was alive, when he was a governor? This man happens to be an epitome of good governance, an epitome of selflessness. Those are the messages we have to take home from here. Allah says, when we were coming into this world, to a pregnant woman, a medical scientist will give him EDD, known as expected date of delivery. But at a particular point in time, Allah will send angels to the baby to give him EDE, which is exact date of delivery. Not only that, the angel will give him exact date of exit at the same time. So it is wrong for us to say, because when you were coming, you did not come on another person's date. So shall it be when you are returning to Allah. Returning to Allah is not an easy thing for anybody who did not worship Allah when he was still living. So what are we preparing? to embark on this kind of a journey that our father is embarking upon this very moment. Because whether we like it or not, the only thing that can save you from such a day from happening to you is if you were not born into this world at all. So brothers and sisters here, fathers, we have to take cognizance of the fact that we are to prepare ourselves before this day comes Upon all, comes upon all, each and every one of us. My mother's here, everybody in Lagos State, wherever you may be occupying as a position of authority, however small or big it may be, remember that a day shall come when people shall be saying things after you. What have you prepared for people to say about you? I have said this seeking for Allah's forgiveness upon each and every one of us here. During the time of this man, we all enjoyed free education, free health services, free that, free those ones. We are adults free, free and free nowadays. Subhana Rabbika. Rabbi Izzat Amba Yasifun. Wassalamu ala al Thank you so much. Imam Abdelbari Saba, on behalf of the youth, Eminence the Gratitude Imam, uh, really, people are waiting for that song, but I thought uh, another day. <laughs> Amen. 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 Amen.
Everybody must go.